Well, Justin, okay, um, I know you wanted to see the Superman comics, which I will show you, but I thought I would send you a video on these, too. Okay, so the Robots in Time series, I think I told you about that. It's um, written by William F. Wu, but it's in the Isaac Asimov universe. I don't know how much you know about that, but either way, these these six books, uh, this is what I what, really want to talk about. Um, I like them a lot. They're, um, they're young adult books. Um, basically, it's in the future, and there are robots who are con who are kind of like the governors of different cities. And the cities are not like our cities, but it's a long story. But long story short, there's a robot that um, it's huge, and it's and they can split into six components. And because it's trying to escape, um, it, it it sends all six components back in time, the different time periods. And of course. Um, a large part of this is that it teaches kids history, but it still is a good adventure series. It's not just preaching to kids. The first one, Predator, um, I don't know if you can see that, okay. It, uh, it go, they go back into the time of the dinosaurs. It's pretty cool. The second one, uh, oh, and there's a robot and a, and a human crew that are trying to recapture these robots. The second one, Marauder, they go back into the, uh, into Jamaica in the 1700, in the 17th century. Um, with pirates and stuff, it's pretty cool. The third one I'm reading now, Warrior, they go back into um, ancient Germany uh, around the first century when uh, during the Roman Empire. Um, so those are the ones I'm reading now. I've read these, I've only read them once and when they first came out, like 1994. So 4, 5, and 6 I'm not familiar with much because I haven't read them in 25 years or more. But the fourth one, they go back into World War II. Um... The fifth one is the, I think, ancient China. And the sixth one, I want to say, is around the time of um, King Arthur. So, they're a pretty good series. So, that's that. Um, now, the second series I wanted to mention was the uh, Young Astronaut series. So, that is right here. Let's put this up a bit for a moment. Okay, um, so basically these were written in the late 80s, early 90s, I'd say like 1990, and they were written, um, again, all of these, these both, both of these series have an educational um, uh, moral to them in, in the sense of, again, the history. This one was written by, um, not by NASA, but it was sponsored by NASA, and basically it was a series that was, it didn't, it didn't do very well, unfortunately, I really liked the series, but... It was basically written to help kids and even adults get back into the NASA space program. I don't know how, how much you remember of this because you were kind of young. I mean, I was too, but I was a little bit older than you. Um, when the Challenger exploded um, in 1986, uh, that, I mean, that really put um, a, a lock on space ex exploration for a couple years. I mean, like, um, people were really gun-shy about space exploration. It was just, you know, I mean, obviously it was a tragedy, but the fact that they had a teacher on board, a civilian, it just really was, was bad PR for NASA. And these, this series was one of the things they were trying to do to help, um, get NASA back on the map. In fact, I don't know if you remember this, in 1986 there was a movie, which actually wasn't too bad, it was called Space Camp, and it's about these kids going off into space, um, that's basically what it's about. They become astronauts, and it has uh, Leah Thompson, the mother from Back to the Future in it. She was still a teenager, but um, it just it really didn't do well in the box office simply because of bad timing. I mean, they, they filmed it way before that, but it came out right around the time of the Challenger explosion. And the fact is, uh, oh, and of course, they go into space. They weren't supposed to be the ones going into space. There was a space shuttle, um, a problem with a space shuttle, and they had to go fix it. And um, it just really wasn't good timing for a space shuttle disaster movie at the time. But anyway, this is supposed to be in the near future. I want to say like the year 2000. Now remember, this was written in the late 80s, the early 90s. But these young astronauts, what happens is uh, there's a contest. They're the, the biggest and brightest, or the smartest and brightest kids are in the contest. And these are the winners. They're from all, all, all over the world. Um, and they become young astronauts and they go to Mars. And that's what the story's about. Um... The first one, they're still in training. The second, like, well, they're still in training. The second one, I think they, I think that's when they launch. The third one, they're in space. The fourth one, they're still in space around the asteroid belt or something of that nature. The fifth one, they they land on Mars, and the sixth one, they're um, establishing a colony on Mars. It's a pretty good good series. Like I said, for whatever reason, no one's heard of it. I I haven't met anyone who's heard of it. Even online, it's hard to find someone who, who's heard of it. But those are the series. Um, 
I like both book series, and um, I wanted to discuss them. I'm going to make a second video about the comics, because I'm using my 5D4 camera, and the, um, it's very, very high resolution. It's probably really eating up memory. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll come back with the comics. Thank you.